Hello Virgo, this is G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I am going to do your life and love focus for the month of January 2019. Thank you for your beautiful energy. Thank you for tuning in. If you would like something more personal just for you, visit my website, g1insights.org. This is a general reading, so it may and it may not apply to you. Please keep that in mind while watching this video. You may have other things in your birth chart that may um, affect the reading as well. So whatever else you may have in your reading as a sun, moon, horizon, or even Venus um, sign, please review the other zodiac sign videos, okay? So Virgo, the first thing that came out was forgiveness. And I'm not sure why, but it seemed like um, and you're not the only person that got this card either. It was somebody else. I can't think of it, but somebody else did get this card as well. Hmm. So I'm going to move on. But anyway, you got forgiveness, okay? Whatever that means for you, please take heed to it, okay? What that means is this may be a season for you to work through some older issues if you are holding grudges or maybe someone has hurt you maybe you felt like someone has betrayed you in the past this will be a good time to try to really settle those issues maybe going to therapy talking to a counselor doing a tarot reading whatever the hell you need to do to help get you past this previous hurt or this um destruction whatever that has really um brought you down you know or if maybe something reappeared in your life and maybe it brought up old feelings and old thoughts of things you know and maybe now you're finding it hard to work through those old emotions again um i think the best way to make it through this season is to just release it. And if you watch my videos, I did actually post a video about forgiveness. And because I'm, you know, I'm talk, I've been talking a lot about my road to forgiveness. Um, I did post part one. I will shortly post part two as well if you guys are interested. But um, I, I totally understand where a lot of you may be coming from. And I understand if a lot of you may be having a hard time releasing that anger. Um, for a lot of you, this is just simply guilt. You know, a lot of you may feel guilty or maybe somebody else feel guilty for the way they have treated you. But this is going to be the perfect time for you to release and to move forward. And you're going to move forward with a much more clear head. Um, thinking more positively, trying to go into your marriage with a whole new mindset or maybe getting into a new relationship that motivates you, that inspires you, where there is no friction, there is no pain, you know? I mean, we all go through things, but you want to have the best positive relationship, you know? Even if you do have disagreements. So I feel like for a lot of you, this could be a love situation. And let me say this. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could be someone, uh, maybe a sibling. It could be a friend. Uh, maybe it's an ex-lover. It could be an old co-worker or um, someone that you are really, really close to. A lot of you are still holding on to this past hurt, okay? But for a lot of you, this is family, okay? A lot of you are still holding on to something that you guys will that you guys were going through. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with wanting to not talk to this person or not wanting to deal with this person, but you can't continue to live your life filled with so much pain. You know, I even see compassion here as well. So it does say to soften your heart with respect to the situation and all of the people involved, including yourself. So for those of you that really have been going through a trying time with your friend or with your sibling, um, maybe you are going through some issues even at home when it comes to your children, try to find a middle ground, you know? So like I said, a lot of you have been carrying around this shame or this regret. You are being guided, my love, to release those stored emotions and thoughts that may block you. Forgiveness doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean 
that what everybody did to you was okay. It doesn't mean to just act like it never happened, but what it does mean is that I'm going to be mature enough to forgive you so that I can be happy, you know, and that you're not willing to live your life um, worrying about what people did to you. Because why the thing is, while you're sitting around being upset and hurt about this particular situation or what this person did to you, they're living their life. They are living their best life. They work waking up every day. They're happy. They're mo they have moved on. They are happy. They moved on. They're living their life. They got what's going on for them. And you need to find that inner strength to do the same, my love, okay? This just simply means that you are choosing to just simply detox yourself from residual negative thoughts or emotions or both rather related to these different experiences. Maybe pray some more, do some spiritual rituals if you have to, spend time in nature, you know, cultivating compassion, journaling, okay, write things down. You know, start a poetry book or something. Just do something to help you work through this pain, okay? Even trauma counseling. Maybe this is someone from a childhood experience. Maybe this person has truly, truly hurt you or misled you in some type of way. You have to find the middle ground, my love. You have to work through that pain. Be sure to forgive yourself for any regrets. Release those grudges that you're holding toward yourself. Because trust me, it is helpful to learn from the mistakes made in the past, but not to hang on to them by berating yourself, okay? The point is to increase your confidence and the love in your heart so that you can focus upon your divine purpose. You can't truly focus on, you know, manifestation. And Virgo, I always talk to you about this. You can't truly manifest when you're constantly worried or trying to force something to happen. You know, like you can't force people to marry you. You can't force someone to love you. You can't force people to apologize. You can't force people to want to be good to you. You know, sometimes you just have to let people be. They want to be ignorant, let them be ignorant. You know, sometimes, I've, I mean, I've done it. I've been there and done that. I've had people snap at me and I didn't feel like I even deserved, you know, that energy. But I cannot waste my life worrying about what they did or what they said to hurt me. I have to find the inner strength to move forward. That's all I'm saying, okay? So just simply letting go of the past, um, maybe adopting a more positive outlook, okay? Releasing toxic relationships with forgiveness. Focus on that past life healing, my love, because... For some of you, this don't even have anything to do with a romantic relationship. For some of you, this is a sibling or this could even be family in general. This could even be a friend that you thought were your friends. And maybe they did some really down, dirty things that were just straight disrespectful. And now you are... You just can't see yourself working past that. You're like, there's no way in hell that I can still be friends with you after what you did to me, you know? So a lot of you are still holding on to that, my love. But if you look closely, this is a beautiful butterfly, okay? And like butterflies, we have to learn to expand. We have to learn to grow, to evolve. We have to be okay with life changes, that's what it really is. Because even here, you got seeking and finding. Whatever you are seeking is already seeking you. If you are seeking pain, you will get pain. If you are seeking happiness, you will attract happiness. If you are seeking forgiveness, trust me, somebody in this world will be more than okay to forgive you. If you are seeking hatred, hatred will follow you. It's the law of attraction. It is the law. It's karma. It happens. That is just the way that the universe works, my love. There is nothing that is above that is not below. There is nothing that is within that is not out. So you have to understand that. When you begin to understand that it's much deeper than what you think, Don't having forgiveness does not mean that it's okay. It just means that I need to be happy. So I'm going to get your toxic energy out of my head, out of my heart, out of my life, out of my mind, out of sight, out of mind. You don't see it. Don't even think about it. You don't need to have this type of energy in your world, okay? 
But also, this could also be about you just simply seeking something new, okay? A new way to live your life, a new house, a new home, a new relationship, a new foundation, something new to get into, okay? And who knows that better than me? I'm always looking for something new, so I totally get it. I'm always searching for the next best thing, always. And sometimes it pays to be that way, and then sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, you just got to take life for what it is. You have to flow with the changes, okay? Hold the vision of success. Experience the excitement of the process. And feel fulfillment as if everything has already been accomplished. Keep calling upon the guidance of your God and the angels to lead you in the best direction. Look within yourself to find great love and beauty. Don't draw fear into your life. You cannot manifest true love. You cannot manifest money. You cannot manifest great friendships or partnerships when you are constantly worried about what cannot happen or what didn't happen. You can't manifest that things that way. And I know sometimes it's hard, especially when things are all over the place. I know it's hard, my love, but you have to get through that phase of being um, so open to allowing people to bring that negative energy into your world. Yeah, you can close it. So you cannot do that. You have to put a stop to it. It's a new year, new you at the top of the year, January 5th. We have a new moon, solar eclipse in your sister sign, Capricorn. <coughs> oh my God, the instant smoke just went in my throat. <laughs> so we have the new moon solar eclipse in your sister sign capricorn that is going to awaken your spirits my love it's going to begin to show you what you are truly made of and you're going to start seeing some things or recognizing some things about yourself that you never knew even existed i mean how beautiful is that let's talk about love really quickly because i also see attraction i see trust and I also see it is safe for you to love. The interesting thing about this card is that it has came out about five times for five different signs, my love. This is a very popular card this season. So I think one of the main lessons in love for all of us is that we have to be more trusting when it comes to love. We have to trust that the universe would not deliver us anything that we can't handle. You know, so like I've been telling everybody else, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is time for us to earn back that trust, to deliver that trust. We can't force people to trust us when we don't trust them. Okay, something has to give. But either way, dear love, when it comes to your love life, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Whether you are single, coupled up, separated, have faith, my love, because for a lot of you, this is for a married couple. For a lot of you, you may be considering to get engaged, and maybe you're a little nervous about it. Um, but those of you, you're thinking about proposing, or maybe you recently did and just, you know, overly excited and just don't know how things are going to turn out. You may not know where all the money is going to come from. Have faith, my love. Don't be so overly obsessive. You guys over-obsess over a lot of unnecessary things. You have to let it go. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So whatever it is, my love, just have fun. Live in the moment, my love. Remember that seeking and finding you. Whatever you are seeking is seeking you. So remember that, my love. Have fun with the process, okay? Now, your overall energy for the month of January is basically, you know, it looked like there may or there may have been some type of financial issues for you. For a lot of you with a great strategy, okay, and with you guys networking, I don't know who this woman is, my love, but somebody is in your world introducing you to something financially, or they may be someone that is a really good advisor, someone who is like a teacher, someone maybe a counselor, a therapist, somebody that is really good at allowing you to vent out your emotions or things that you feel. This is someone who's usually a great listener. Um, perhaps um, if you're dating, maybe this could be a new lover, this might be a new interest, okay? But this is definitely someone who has your back when it comes to your way of thinking, okay? This is a female that represents a lot of wisdom and understanding. 
okay? This person is basically there, um, who is basically a really good friend for a lot of you. A lot of you have this really good friend, um, and you can call them, you can call her anytime and talk to her about whatever, and she just always seems to know what to say. She actually helps you to express and understand your feelings, or she could just simply be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a whole new direction, okay? So don't be so eager to just walk away from a situation don't be don't you know don't try not to think that this person don't know what they're talking about try your best to take heed to whatever advice you receive this time okay but like i said this can also be a new love interest for some of you this is a woman who is thoughtful conscious she's really smart very aware okay but this can also represent us represent a side of yourself that is ready to just take on a whole new world. You are just ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. No matter if you're a man or a woman, this could just simply be your overall energy, my love. Find your voice and let your wisdom shine because this is not the end for you, okay? This is saying that things are about to change and you're okay with the change. But in order for that to happen, my love, you have to practice that self-love, that forgiveness, that compassion. Try to understand in life, everybody makes mistakes. We're not perfect. And I know that you guys view things as either a black and white situation, as either it is or it's not. But you have to understand that none of us are perfect. We all strive to be, but we are not perfect, my love. Okay? Now, whatever the strategy is, financially, um, emotionally, whatever it is, I feel like for a lot of you, this is about money, okay? Um, no matter what it is, okay, this is basically about you having a, being in the right time at the right place to meet the right person. So this could be this woman that I've been talking to you guys about, okay? But this is about you guys being at the right place at the right time to strategize some new goals, um, working on a specific strategy for achieving your goals and like i said for a lot of you this is a financial situation write about the direction you want to go in consider any potential change in your course plan for the unexpected okay be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality Spend some time setting things in order. Prioritize, okay? It's time to say yes to yourself. No more self-sabotaging, my love. No more self-sabotaging. You can do it, Virgo. I don't know what it is that got you stuck or had you lost, but trust me, my love, you can get through it. This is not the end of the course. This is not the end. The universe is not done with you, okay? Any type of situation where money has been tight, try your best to, you know, be conservative. If you don't really need it, there's a difference between needing and wanting, my love. If you don't really need it, don't buy it. Start investing. Start saving your money. Start putting that money for a rainy day or some type of emergency funds. My love, if you go on my website, I do have a link on my website about financial freedom and how to break out of, you know, debt and all that good stuff. You know, check it out, my love. Check it out. Trust me. This year, Earth Signs are winning, especially for the next six months. You guys are winning. Take advantage of that, okay? So I love you, Virgo. I do have to go, but I love you, and I really hope that this reading resonated with, if not all of you, at least some of you. Please like, share, and follow, or subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your beautiful energy. Have a great week and happy new year, Virgo. I love you.